In today's health alert, concern is growing amid a rise in respiratory illnesses. It's what doctors are calling a triple-demic. Hospitals nationwide are stretched to their limits amid surging cases of flu, RSV, and COVID. Right now, 80% of U.S. adult hospital beds are filled here in Michigan. 80% of beds in the ICU are full. And 84% of inpatient beds are full. But now two key developments are providing some new hope tonight. So here with us to discuss it, our Chief Health Editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us. And Dr. Nandy, we know the FDA has been talking about that priority review of the RSV vaccine for adults. Where are we with that? That's pretty exciting, right? Yeah. The Pfizer's RSV vaccine that's been developed for folks 60 and up, it will get an ex expedited process. Meaning, Glenda, that the timeline for the FDA to review the vaccine has been shortened by four months. Now, Pfizer's clinical trial found that the drug called RSV PREF to be 85.7% effective at preventing severe illness. Now, severe illness here was defined as three or more symptoms. It also found uh, to be 66.7% effective at preventing milder illness. That's defined as two or more symptoms. On top of that, good news, no safety concerns were identified. As for a final decision by the FDA, that's expected in May of 2023. If granted federal approval, it could be available by fall of 2023, a little less than a year from now. So the FDA also recently approved that coronavirus shot for young children. Can you share details? Absolutely. So to yeah. me again, it's exciting. So Moderna now has an updated booster shot that's been authorized, Linda, for kids aged six months through five years. Now, children will be, will be able to get this two months after they've been fully vaccinated with Moderna's primary two-dose series. The FDA also cleared Pfizer's updated shot for kids six months through four years. Now, this shot is not considered a booster. Instead, it will replace Pfizer's third dose in its primary series for kids. Both Moderna's booster and Pfizer's third shot are what's called bivalent, meaning that they target the original version of the virus plus Omicron BA4 and BA5 subvariants and the newer Omicron subvariants. Listen, I'm a dad and I mm -hmm. can tell you that my kids are vaccinated against both COVID and the flu, and I am as well. I don't expect the vaccines to protect all of us 100%, but here's, here's the truth. It can protect us from severe illness, which can lead to hospitalization and death. And that's what we're trying to prevent, right? The hospitals are full. We want to not have more folks go in there. Right, and to hear that, to hear that you're doing it and your children and your family are doing it, maybe some encouragement, you know, for people. And they've all done well. That's the thing. People are afraid something's going to happen. They've protected us and we've done well. All right, Doc, thank you so much. My pleasure. All right, good to see you. Of course. And this week on the Dr. Nandy Show, the good doc discussing a new fitness trend, but does it work? You can watch it this Sunday at 1 p.m.